Hey everybody, welcome back to The Average. Today I've got some drawings planned. Obviously, I thought what I would do is my book cover challenge, so you're about to see that. And this was filmed over the course of two days, so don't be um, thrown off by the non-continuality. Is that a word? It's not a word, is it? We'll roll with it. Don't be afraid, alarmed by the change of jumper hands. I don't know why you would, but maybe, maybe that's a fear. Anyway, let's roll the footage. Today I'm gonna do a book cover challenge. If you haven't been around my channel for that long, then you won't know, but I have been doing some paint overs of book covers that were previously film book covers. So they were covers based off of the film that had been created for the book. So the first one I did was Wild and I did sort of a, like a cartoony style. And I quite like how it turned out, but there's lots of things I'd like to change. And the next one I did was Memoirs of a Geisha, which I kind of went a little bit abstract with without the name on the cover. And I really enjoyed the process. I think each book that I've done, I've just done these two so far, have both been books that I've really liked and enjoyed and um, rate heavily so the third book that I want to do today is I Capture the Castle and it has like this 90s vibe horrible kind of weird lovely cover and yeah if you never read I Capture the Castle I thoroughly suggest it if you are a writer then definitely read it because it's adorable and possibly just one of the nicest stories I've read but also quite sad and um, J.K. Rowling's even quoted on the front of this one so you know it's good. Right, I am gonna paint this. Voice over time. Why did I choose this book? This book was one that I fell in love with about 10 years ago when I was in university and at the time it was quite poignant for me. It was a great read and I fell in love with the narrator because basically it's about this girl who lives with her family in a castle and the father is a writer. He released a book years ago that did really well so he, he made a lot of money off that one book but from then his success he kind of had art block and it got to him and he got the pressure got to him so he stopped writing and the funds stop coming in obviously so the castle becomes a little bit dilapidated and they can't afford the upkeep of it and it's a great story set in the 1930s and it's like a little snapshot into that time it's written by Dodie Smith who wrote 101 Donations as well if you're interested and it's sort of about this girl and her wanting to be a writer and keeping a diary about things that happen in her life over a period of time one of the scenes in the book is when she goes out swimming in the dark late one night because I read this so long ago, I can't actually remember if she wore a swimming costume or if she was in fact naked. I think she might have been naked and I've made a giant mistake, but if she is, then oh well, sorry, um, I didn't draw her naked, I drew her in a swimming costume. We'll move on past that anyway and talk about the actual illustration. So obviously I used gouache again and it is still a bit of a learning curve. But it was a great medium to use on top of a book because the book was kind of plasticky and um what's the word like slippery <laughs> slippery laminated so it was hard to use any kind of other paints so i think these ones really worked they did crack a little bit around the edges and i was worried about them cracking a little bit more but luckily they didn't Hey guys, it is now the next day and I was thinking about the illustration. Gouache obviously dries quite thick and crinkly so when I want to go over it now I fear that it might run a little bit because obviously the paints might get activated so this is a very big kind of still learning curve for me with gouache so I thought I would use some graphic pens on them so they're sort of like Posca pens in the fact that they are paint but they're water-based pigment um, they're like fine liners of paint, which is pretty cool. I haven't really seen anybody else use these um, We've had them for a while and we haven't really used I haven't used them very much. So I'll see how they go really 
So yeah, like I said, I used the graphic pens from this point on and I think it really added something to the piece. I couldn't really get that control of line with the brush and the wash. Um, I tried really hard but I think that level of detail I need like a thinner brush and because the paints are so solid in like in the form that you should use them in it kind of it's hard to control because you get like big blobs so I was trying to find a alternative around that and I think it worked out it was okay so I kind of wanted to focus on typography of this one because in the past I haven't really done so and lately I've been inspired by um, seeing a lot of this kind of painterly style of typography and I think it really worked out in the end so I'm going to try and do this kind of style again in the future. I have more thoughts on the whole composition by the end of this painting so stick around to hear what I think of the end results but generally happy thoughts, happy times and I've really enjoyed making this and I don't really know what else to say other than um, if you want to see me do any books that you like that have movie covers or you've seen have movie covers let me know and I'd love to paint over them and um, you know if the, if they're your favourite book then and I haven't read it I probably will give it a shot and so let me know I'm always up for recommendations I love watching booktube obviously I really like stories because I am a writer and artist and if you want to check out my book if you're interested in my writing then that is down below on Amazon it's a fantasy book and if you like strong characters and young adult themes and coming of age stories and friendship and some twists then you might enjoy this book. Uh, what I do is I go into the second hand bookshop with my friend and I saw I Capture the Castle with the movie cover on it and I thought that's perfect for one of these videos and it was really random because we, we had been, been looking for in through those books for like 20 minutes and then I found it right at the end and I was like oh my gosh this is one of my favorite books and it was very serendipitous yes I don't really like I said before I don't really know what else to say about the illustration and you'll hear my thoughts on it on the end so just sit back and relax and watch whatever's left of it
Okay, so that's done. I think, I don't know if it's missing something. Let me know if you think it is. Yeah, I really like the way it turned out. I really like the typography I did. It's kind of inspired by a lot of stuff I've been seeing going around, people doing this kind of stuff. So I thought I'd give it a try and it looks, I think it looks really cool. I wish I had centered it more. That is my only regret of this piece is that the composition is a bit naff because I think I did a lot of doodles down first like sketches to do it but then I didn't actually do like the whole composition as a whole but hey I like how it turned out it's it's a little wonky but it's cool um let me know what you guys think down in the comments um give this video a like if you want to see me paint more book covers let me know if there's a book cover that you want to see get painted over probably one of your favorite books that might have turned into a film might be a good film who knows but all I know is most people don't really like seeing the film covers on books. It's not just me, right? Thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe for more and I will see you next time.